What is going on, everybody? Don't mind that stupid ass little. Ugh. So, this is Legendary Edition, but that's the original artwork splash screen, right? They couldn't fix that shit. Good job, BioWare. Sucking balls. What is going on, everybody? Draco Invictus here with another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Uh, this is episode 5. My fish died in at the end of the last episode, so if you weren't around for that, now you know. Fish are dead. Screw them. I'm so glad I didn't pay the 25 or 50,000 credits for that damn feeder. Urgh. Anyway. Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in. Let's go check in with Grunt. Engineer. All right. Checking in with Grunt. He's agitated. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like, I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Well, that's where we're going for your puberty test. Joker can get us to the Krogan home. <laughs> I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Fair enough. And what? What? Hold on. I'm getting this weird message over here. Let me see what that message is. Um. Uh, hey, oh, I'll do this. Uh, why are are you? Messaging me during a stream. How rude of of you not to be in chat. There we go. <laughs> think you'll get the hint? I think you will. Okay. Yes. Let's go back. <laughs> okay. So, we've uh, got Grunt's loyalty mission, and we got Morton, so we can go to Tachanka and knock both of those out. But I do want to fill out the rest of our roster first, which means going to Ilium, so that we can get Thane, we can get uh, Samara. Yeah. Commander, you might want to speak with Tally. She seems very oh, about and, and there's Tally's. Perfect. I'd much rather have everyone's anyway, so. He forgot what day it was, didn't he? I think he did. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? Wait a minute. I'm not working. <laughs> I have no idea what they're accusing me of. Oh, there we go. You'd think I would remember. Nobody who knows you could believe you betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. 
I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Don't worry. We won't even need evidence when we're done telling. What happens when a quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Oh, it's better than death. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the Migrant Fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. That's a weird roundabout thing there. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. You won't have to prove nothing, darling. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Don't worry. I'll get you there just in time to introduce them to your new friend. Legion. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Yeah, we'll see them in, I don't know, what, 20, 25 hours, something like that. <laughs> no, it's probably not even that long. Okay. Come back up here, see who else needs to talk to us. You know, Kelly, you could tell me more than one person at a time. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. That's exactly what I meant. Last time I was up here, you could have said Garrus and Tally both want to talk to you. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Mm. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find them? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. He owes no. me ten lives. Tooth for tooth. Collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me. But I'd like your help. 
Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay. Now we gotta go pick up Thane so that we can get his loyalty mission for his son, which also takes us to the Citadel, so we can knock out both of them at the same time. Because that's how we're gonna roll it around here. That should be everybody. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Wink, wink. More than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie. Oh, I was friend zoned. If she Damn had it. Body, I'd give her a big hug. Oh. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Let's have dinner. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Yeah, I couldn't have said that right before the fish died, huh? Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. You're welcome. Okay. Now. Uh, we aren't going to worry about the rest of that right now. Come over here, buy some fuel, buy some probes, get the mass relay. Okay. We are not doing that one. So we can help Jack. We can help Jacob. Uh, we aren't helping Tally yet. This would be a, I mean, Ilium is a great one because we will also get Shadow Broker stuff there. Well, let's help Jack. That one's not too terribly long. Everyone's quiet tonight. Old Pragia. Jack and Allie. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew... He won't find out. The elusive man requested operation... Sounds like this facility went rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. 
I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Yeah, see, we just run through. There'll be some Varen to kill. Put our, our group incendiary charge on. Old bloodstain. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Security officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. I don't know, Jack. I got here the same time you did. They need a morgue. This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. It's so strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. She'll kill us all. They kept children here. This it's a two way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours. 
And they always ignored me. I must have come through here when I broke out. But I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Yeah, I bet it is. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. Yeah. Come on, girl. Move on. Harder. We tougher. This. Yeah, biotic damage. Definitely use that. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, are Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. See, even right there, Jack wasn't being selfish. She was worried that this was still happening to other kids. And that's kind of important on Jack's journey, you know? Hey, Arash. Oops. Lots of salvage. Sorry. But this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. But I'm coming in there and we're going to talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're going to kill you. Then we'll see. Kill them on my order. I want them dead. Come here. First and overrun. We outnumber and outgun all. They should soften them up. Is that it? We done? Only room left is my old cell. Oh, Whoever no. Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Alright, we'll do it on his corpse. Now I'm going to do it on his corpse. This is Jack's redemption. My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. 
My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that! Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here! Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. I'll find another gear. <laughs> it's exactly what that was. Find another gear. All right, there's Jack's loyalty. The unlock term mega awesome power. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. She teases me now. Sure, fine. Feed the fish. I appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's I, I have no fish, but go ahead. Feed them. Is there anything I should knock yourself out? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? All right, no, we're good. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. No messages for you, Commander. No messages either. Good. Even better. All right. Back to mass relay. Plot relay. Okay. 
Let us go to, well, hell, let's go to Tachanka. We'll get Grunt. Uh, no, actually, let's go to Ilium. Ilium is here. So that we can get all the rest of that going. We need Thane. We need Samara. We need to help Miranda. We need to talk to Liara. So much to do. Um, let's give him heavy. There we go. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Cool. Yeah, no. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. It just has a better pain job, that's all. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Man, the Quarians get such a bad rap. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an yep. uncharted planet. Absolutely I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. 
Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way, all working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Strings. Lots and lots of strings. My god, that was two Renegade points. How are we doing anyway? Oh, almost done with Paragon anyway. All right, let's see. Gianna Parsini. Shepard? I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. That I do. Have a seat. There's like no bar There's around. Him, you know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Examine the beer. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Sorry, merchant. Smuggling schematics from Noberia. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? Sure. Let's do it. Talk to the merchant. I'm looking for the best. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. No shit. <laughs> much, much like you, there's no place to put the beer. <laughs> You don't have a throat, and I don't have a hole to, for my mouth. Um, let's see here. Special items? What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know. Schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Ooh. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. She's like being friends with, uh, with like one of the, uh, the, uh, oh shit. The, uh, <laughs> oh God, why am I drawing a blank? The, I'm going to say the, uh, again. <laughs> the, <laughs> shit, never mind. I'll just shut up. Okay, let's just browse. Okay, what do we got here? We have 273,000 credits. Uh, bionic damage, we can buy that. I don't need the bypass manual, module. A tech damage, meta gel. Do we need the helmet? No. Do we need the torso? No. Do we need the shoulder pieces? No. Do we need the arm sheathing? No. 
Do we need the power pack? No. It doesn't look bad, though. I mean, it's clean-looking armor. So we'll buy that. This looks interesting. Buy this. I don't need any of that. Cool, oh, and we'll buy the bionic damage. Cool. We bought it all. And... Now... Figure something out. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go, now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Um. Don't do anything hasty. <laughs> know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Um, let's see here. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, um, kind of have a thing, a, a problem with slavery well before we even met the Batarians. He says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different, so it's not like... Can I help you with something? How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarian had better be good, though. Show me a quarian that is not a good AI tech. <laughs> Shit. I know we're not uh, talking with Lantea yet. We'll check the bachelor party. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract, 
Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. All right. Enough of that. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athena Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Good for her. I was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me? I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. That's funny. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were going to have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now <laughs> I serve drinks. I don't think I've ever actually asked that question and heard that response because uh, laughed the blue off my ass is definitely something that I just heard for the first time. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? No, I'm pretty good. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Uh, I don't see any bulls. Anyway. We're good here. Oh, we gotta talk here. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Yeah, this is true. All right, let's go see Liara. No, it's over on the other side. And we don't have 
any credits anyway. No, upstairs. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my... Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts. Even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. <laughs> Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. Hey, gamer! That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. I have not yet. Assassin. Yes, he arrived here a few days ago. I'll get it done by this weekend, My though. sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship, or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere near... Yeah, you already said Thank that. You, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right. Let's go get that taken care of. Nick her, she a big traitor bitch. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Huh. 
I never realized that dark energy was brought up more than just when we went to Haystrom to help Tally. Interesting. How much you want to bet? Now, of course, we won't know for a decade, probably. <laughs> How much you want to bet dark energy plays into Mass Effect 4? It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. All right. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. You are insane. Do you have anything flashy? Wasn't the... I want something that says... Journal. Um, assignments. Aha. And, um... Oh, there we go. I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we can do, sir. I thought there was one over here. I guess not. One of the security things that she wants us to hack. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sanadantius didn't give us time to pack. Okay. So. Do we... Yeah, let's just go get Thane right now. Serena? Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Where is he? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Yeah, let's do it. Now. That's what I like to hear. 
We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. All right, um, we'll take Garrus and Jack. We'll kind of mix things up a little bit, huh? I double check what I'm carrying here. Firestorm. Nope, don't want that. Uh, let's take the missile launcher. There we go. No heavy pistol. We got the Locust SMG, the Widow, the Geth Plasma Shotgun, the Collector Assault Rifle, okay? And then Gare should have... Gare can't get the Widow? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we'll leave him with the Mantis. All right, Jack. What do you what do you sport in there? Talon plasma shotgun. Cool. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. God, even in the future, there's yeah, fucking traffic yeah, jams. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Thanks. Nice. And now begins the trip up the tower. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? 
Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? Sir, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Hold your fire, Shepard. Well, don't walk in front of me when I'm shooting. I'll kill you all. Felt that one. Garrus, damn it. Hold on, Garrus. I got gotcha. you. There you go. Is there a mod that lets you keep the helmet stats but makes the helmet invisible? Yeah, I agree, Count. In one of the games, and it's probably in three, you can set it so that um, so that the helmet is invisible. Yeah, it's not in this one. Leave Will out of this. Hostile forces have engaged. Because of shock, ready. Yeah. 
Did you forget everything? No, damn it, I got greedy. Got greedy. <clears throat> Couldn't wait. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Allied force casualty. Crap. <clears throat> Garrus, <laughs> <laughs> every damn time, dude. Like bowling pins. I'm telling you, that's why you play Vanguard. Is that damn charge? I can take you all. It's ridiculous. I was pushing on the wrong fucking buttons. God damn it. Forces 
have engaged. Allied force casualty. <laughs> This should slow him down. There we go. Excuse me. Firing eye impact shot. Come in here and take these guys, or fix these guys, or help these guys, or whatever with these guys. Please, don't <clears> kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well... Whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? All right. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. Clip, clip, clip all the goodies. Then come over here. More goodies. There's the goodie. The Viper. Go, do that. Got that. All right. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. I was just thinking the same thing myself, Garrus. Well, there's no lack of cover. Oops, no. Have a pleasant day. There we go. Coward? See, that's how you handle that. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Ah, uh, yes, this guy. Assassin. Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? 
Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, I guess he had it coming. And we needed that anyway. He's all over the place. What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducks. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him. Good. Then stay down. One less to worry about. I'll tear you apart. I can take you all. I'll tear you apart. Yeah, okay. Are you guys all right in here? Get back. Get back. I'll shoot. Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back. I'll do it. Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the merc? No. It wasn't me. What happened here? The merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. <laughs> Helen picked up the merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. All righty. Where is everyone? Ourselves? The sunlight, please give me a report. Oh, Nasana. It's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. All right, let's do this. Let's go here. Okay, and we'll go here. And then I can fast swap between the two. Like that. Weakening their integrity. Ugh. I'll weaken your integrity. Ugh. See? That's me. You Weakening your integrity. A little hot swap. A little shooty shooty in the head. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Huh? Gotta love a nice semi-automatic sniper rifle. Let's make sure that Garrus has one of these, huh? He should be able to get one. Let's find out. Yep. Look at me! 
explosives! He's already past us! Look out! They're behind us, too! <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. 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 My line. No. Switch back to here. Come back over here. Select that. There we go. Get med kit, pick up Ezo. Don't need to visit weapons, slow down. I'm here. This should slow him down. He already had it. I'll kill you all. Yeah, we'll go double check, but I think he already had it, the Viper. Garrus? Yeah, Viper. And he's got the assault rifle, too. This should come in handy. We've been spotted. I don't care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. Rerouting power. Back up. one. I don't think I can actually shoot it from here. That's bullshit. Whatever. There's one down. We'll get this other one out of the way. Woo! Missed me by that much. No, I thank you for reminding me. Let me know how that's working out for you there. Nice shooting. Thanks. Because of shot ready. What the hell am I paying you for? Uh, to die. Kind of a screwed up way of looking at it. Eclipse never fails. Damn it. 
<laughs> All right, now she's dead. Shepherd, but you're dead. I got better. Mm. And now you're here to kill me. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepherd. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who... Pain so cool. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. 
No charge. Better than Zaid. Sure, we're paying him a butt ton of money. Yeah, he really is. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's yeah, Jacob. I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. You can unclench now, Jacob. It's quite civil. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. Yeah, unclench. Alright. Yeah, he is. I agree. Uh, so we're going to take a break here in just a second. I want to go in here and clean up our research stuff. Uh, before we head off to break. Getting there. Uh, biotic damage. Yep. Biotic cooldown. Yep. Biotic duration. Yep. Come on. Energy shielding. Yep. Uh, prototypes. Armor, 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 armor. No. Not yet. Procurements. Not yet. Uh, no. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So we're going to take a very quick break. And uh, I got to stand up, stretch my legs, get some blood flowing. I got to get something to drink. Got to have a quick bio break. So I'll be back in just a minute.
And we're back. Oh, and now my camera's working for a second. Oh, no. There it goes. All right. Anyway. Welcome back, everybody. And uh, I kind of figured Marcus would be leaving uh, during the break. So, uh, yeah. But here we are. Okay. Next. Gotta get back to Ilium. Commander, you received a new message at your private New terminal. message, okay. Um, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request your assistance to transfer. Oh, this one. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Shadow, how you doing, buddy? I think it's funny that they put junk mail in your email. I think that's pretty good. He ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus personnel arrived to find all guards dead along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for energies, er, injuries, given mild amnesic treatments, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. Few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pragia has been destroyed. Shadow, how you been, buddy? Mm. All right, back to Ilium. Oh, he's got glasses. He's got shades. Cool. Let's see. Next, we're going after Samara. Uh, we'll take Garrus and Tally with us. I have four points. I don't need Cryo. We'll do four points in Shockwave. See, seven hundred with two and a half meter spread. Five hundred with three and a half meter spread. I think got extra meters worth the two hundred newtons. No points for that. Uh, it should let me skip this. We should never have taken off from Ilium. Tasty Baron skewers. I know the what is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. Yeah, stop Our being a dickhead. Worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Thanks. Uh, I have. Uh, I gotta be getting close. Oh, one full bar left. All right. Um, there's no one else to talk to now. I don't need to talk to Tana. Minus so 
Well, thanks. I've been I've been working on my 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 T zone. It's a little dry. Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means no. I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's one down. Let's go ahead and get that done. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you green? I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. You got it. One of those threads. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Ooh, tug on the heartstrings. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it.
Yeah. Why? Why are we buying star maps? Oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> I love making her cry. Did you get the star charts? See why? Why are you? Why doesn't the Normandy have all the star charts? You did it. I just got the revised contracts. <clears throat> Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? I know. I keep running into you sons of bitches in different games. <laughs> You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Yes, because I'm a space whore. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Oh, I think I fixed that little problem. Can I help you with something? Yes. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Jessica I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Just a cars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Just the head nod. I was wearing a mask so she can see me wink. Why not? Uh, we're going to hold off on his points. He doesn't need the incendiary ammo, so. All right, let's see. Um, that's the marksman's much better, I think. It actually has really, really good buffs. I'll show it to you in a second. Oh, I can't right now because I, I... Oh, wait. I'm not done with him. A throw. And we will give him... Uh, we'll go heavy throw. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Yeah, it looks like the helmet looks like it has too many coats of paint on it. Yep, exactly. I agree. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, 
Some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. <coughs> Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. <laughs> I should go. Yeah, for some weird reason, the mod that gives me this armor, I don't know whether it doesn't have a helmet or it's just not working right, but it, it's not showing up. So I went with some other helmet. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. That is so stupid. Why her bosses would be telling her to detain the Justicar. Who hasn't actually done anything wrong. That's stupid. How do I get to the crime scene? Stupid. It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. See, the game, the game has some incredible writing. Before the detective goes after her. Has absolutely incredible writing. Then it has really shitty writing too. Okay, um, let's see here. Um, why does, no, that's right, that's right. Why does he have the raptor? See, I could give him the Mantis, single shot, or I could go with the Viper, semi-auto. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, um, we'll give him the Viper. There we go. And then we'll give him, yeah, the Hornet's good. All right. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Get the rest yes. Of Bravo Squad prep. Alpha Squad went after that Justicar 20 minutes ago, and they've gone dark. A human! Open fire! <laughs> Hostile forces have engaged. She did, and she did. No, yeah, it was right when you walk in the door on the right hand side. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. 
Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Weird name for a ship. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Samara needs a sword. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them, but I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes. Maybe it is Andromeda. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. And it, it should be like a biotically charged sword. Something that they could like absorb their biotic power. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Let's make a totally different mass effect. Oh, there he is. I ran right past him. You a little roly-poly? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant. Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. Oh, they cool. Keep records in their base. I totally forgot they about that. A pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. See, and that's the thing you always needed to remember. Yeah, the wiki is definitely all-knowing. Each Eclipse sister has to kill someone to get her uniform. Yep. Not that I... Uh, 
ever doubted her anyway. <laughs> He's telling a mech to go now to the sea. You're funny, Thane. At least Thane's rocking his sniper rifle. Oh, you bitch. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Huh? I hit the wrong button. Oh no, we shut out the window. Walked right into that one. Yes. We'll just have to stick with my incendiary app, huh? Because I don't have warp ammo. Oh, wait. I got to go back and kill her. Just blow her away. Online. <laughs> yeah, let the goddess sort him out. That's funny. Anything left? Oh, bitch. Yeah. 
Yes. I think. Now you're gonna make me look. Yeah, he has two levels. Warp. Yeah, maybe. They they definitely do a better job of of taking care of their their stuff. Go in peace. In Mass Effect 2 than they do in the original. Son of a bitch swapped out. God. I hate that shit. We're screwed. Ah, damn it. This is going to take forever. Shit, 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 shit. No, damn it. No, the simple fact of the matter is, is that I picked up that damn, um, whatever the hell it is. The, um, see, now I still have the missile launcher because I haven't gone back far enough to not have the missile launcher know what I mean I'm going the wrong way aren't I I didn't realize that it was swapping. I that it was a heavy that it was swapping out. I thought it was swapping out my other shotgun. That's why I didn't worry about it. Yeah, did not realize it was swapping out a missile launcher. Look 
Bullshit. Fucking shooting through shit. Fuck you. Yeah, right on your ass. Are you all on the way up there, huh? Damn it, wrong button again. Oh, I hate that shit. I'll put them down. Now I can't fire. Yeah, dealing with a couple things here, guys. Sorry about that. Dealing with the game that wants to put shit in my hand and... It doesn't tell me what it's swapping out. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. <gasps> There's the proof. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. Hmm, don't think you're going home. Elnora was the killer. You were right to be suspicious of her. Figure that detective would want this. Yep. Yeah, I'm also dealing with shit with my hand, so that's highly frustrating for me. We've been spotted. I'm going to leave that right now because uh, let's swap to this. There we go. Gunship above. Come on, you chicken shit. There you go. Now I can go clean up those power cells. I'm not getting credits. sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We've got to keep moving. I am a biotic god. I am a biotic god. 
I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. <laughs> you need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. I don't think it was greatness she smelled. They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step. But great wind, <laughs> biotic god. I'm a. What was I saying? I'm tired. I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, well, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Useless. No, it wasn't useless. He gave us seven paragon points. Definitely not useless. Okay, let's collect this. I don't think we're. I mean, we're pretty good. Yeah, missile launcher, locust, viper, scimitar, collector. Okay. No heavy pistol because you can only have five items in Mass Effect 2. Uh, Grunt's got his stuff. Thane has his stuff. Okay. We're good. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Gear up. <clears throat> you stabilize with your bodies. Some record of that ship must be around here. There we go. Copy. Is that the ship the crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? Um, I'm going to say look around. I don't think there's anything else. There's not much around here, but from what I remember anyway. Thanks. I certainly try.
Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Let's gather the birds and get the flock out. Yeah, and I think my metagel's full anyway, so... Oh, God, always with the wrong buttons. Yeah, six. Yeah. I'm okay with the minus hundred credits. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, look at that. Oh, woo-wee. Almost missed that. Maybe I do need to look around again. No, that's it. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the spaceport. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Absolutely. I mean, 3,000 credits. Glad we looked around for that. Shit. I did accidentally let my fish die, though. Again. Ugh. Drives me batty. All right. Come here, you little roly-poly. Oh, no. He's not the one we want to talk to. He's the one we want to talk to. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. No, I'm already good with it. Also, and I already bought it curiosity. anyway. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Eh, fine. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. Yes, I am. A pleasure doing business. Yes. Yeah, our Paragon's really good. Yeah, see, look, I'm already good. But I've, I come into this game with like 300,000 credits. Which I promptly blew through. <laughs> I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Okay. <laughs> I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. 
I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Um, alright. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. All right. Um, oh shit, we gotta talk to Samara. I am ready to leave if you are. Shall we return to your ship? Yep. Let's go. There we go. Okay. How much money do we make? Oh, nice. 57,000. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Get out of here, Jacob. All right. Let us now go and buy our research. Nothing there. Get that one done. And nothing here that I want. Nothing here that I want. Yeah. He has this loop because he has a cob up his ass. Now, uh, Jacob's alright as a companion. It just. Some of the. The artificial. Things that. Like, his disdain toward Thane is just... Why? I mean, it's so artificially... Bleh. Hi, Kelly. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Um, I heard about what you did on Ilium, Zeus Hope. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, Liar, Sony, give me your contact information as one of the cleaning crew. Okay, cool. Also gonna buy some nice clothes. Go get it. Alright. Back down to Ilium we go. We're not done there yet. So... I'm getting 15% increase on shields, all weapon reserve ammo by 10%, and health by 10%, just on the helmet. So. Yeah, I put up with the ugly. I wish there was a... Because I'd probably just wear this. Just give me headshot damage and weapon damage. But I really wish that there was a, a helmet that would go with this armor. Better. I could just go with the cap, I suppose. Doesn't give me any benefit. I could go with the shades. It's funny. There's a long paragraph here about the shades. Yeah, there is. But that's it. That's all that there is to it. As far as, like... What bonuses and stuff he can. But the Reckoner Night Armor is gorgeous. I wish there was a... Like I said, I, I don't know if there's no helmet for this armor. Or if I'm having some mod conflict and it's just not showing up. But why it wouldn't show up on the list, I don't know. But anyway. It is what it is. Okay. So... 
Um, we will take Miranda and Tally. Hmm, squad weapon damage, squad health. Probably squad weapon damage. And then we will finish off her overload. Evolve that to heavy. And then we'll give her one more point in warp. There we go. That's the thought, anyway. <laughs> See, this is the kind of crap that they should have fixed by when they released the Legendary Edition. Like the fact, okay, yes, we just took Smart in, but why does that mean that we had to leave the dock to do that? Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? I did. It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Um... What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct a mistake. All right. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls Hopefully, a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. That is probably the most... I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. That is probably the most couth and well-spoken Krogan ever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See? You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Oh, uh, I haven't done her thing yet. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Never believe what happened. I've got the data. Don't ask, just call it again. Yeah. Because she wasn't there before, and it wasn't until I brought Miranda along. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, then a waiver for you. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Oh, blue rose of Ilya. Oh, these two. What do you want? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's oh, harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so Red it's hard to believe. Feet. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, Chuck. but, well... We're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century until they die. Jesus. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids, he can't have them any other way, you know, Blue because of the genophage. You have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. 
That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Well, and to be fair, she has a very good point because no one knows the upper age range of a Krogan. Because there, nowhere in any lore does it actually say a Krogan has ever died of old age. So, and we know that the Krogan that's in Mass Effect Andromeda, shut up. We know that the Krogan that's in Mass Effect Andromeda is at least 1,500 years old. So, take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. That's the only reason I really wanted to get involved was for the discount. Because Shepard is a whore for discounts. <gasps> It'll be our one little fish. Oh. I'm buying it. And then I need that. And that. That. Alright. Exit. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Oh, that's what it was looking for. You're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack fervor. Okay, listen, give Fax a full refund. Do you hear me? <laughs> he knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. Yes, but they died before I had dinner. These are the Terminus system. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. Yeah, they, they all died before I had dinner with Kelly. Leave me alone. I can't talk to anybody. Oh, that's because you're screwed. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. Um, let's see here. Don't uh, need that. Want that. Don't need that. 90, 60, 90. Okay. That's uh, round one. Okay, we'll have to come back for the rest. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a it's way tree. to the people too. Who reads labels? Yeah, that was just the, the quick scans. Now we have to do the... The shooter's name was Anderson, you know. <laughs> it's not the Batarian, and I mean, of course, we know who it is, but anyway. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully, it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Yeah, this is true. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is? He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is, given his resources. Or she. There's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? 
I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, we already asked that question. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Xeris. All right. So now we'll go over to Eternity and we will do Miranda's quest. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural simulators are compatible? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse. But they never planned on you. Oh, I guess you're not perfect, Comrade. Um, and we'll take Tally. Just so we have some tech back up. And Miranda, we haven't... Um, oh, no, we did level her up just a little bit ago. Never mind. I'll shut up now. Damn it. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Damn it. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! She can't drive worth a shit. Oh, I know it. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? 
Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birth date. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get... <laughs> Oh, what the hell was that? Alright. Come on, we need to get to Niket. Deploying combat drone. Oh. Uh. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. Yeah, her whole outfit's a mod. Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. At this point, she'd, she'd still be wearing the white outfit. To meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. No, this is, it's actual mod. They're on the 
far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. They've seen us. How? How could they have possibly seen us? Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fucker. God. I hate the fact that I have to take my hand off the keyboard and I just cannot remember how to put it back properly. Oh my God. This is why I stopped streaming for over a month. Because of nights like this. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Let's try it from over here. This might be useful. We've got trouble. <sighs> This is valuable. Boom shakalaka. I'm not letting her get Oriana. Trouble ahead. <clears throat> Nothing's faster than Tatika Boss Paws. Rerouting power. Overloading their system. 
systems. God damn it. Fucking stop walking in front of me. They should soften them up. And I'm also running a mod so I don't have to do all the damn mini games because that is not good streaming entertainment. <laughs> so. Must have gotten over here. I didn't see him. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. <laughs> Clips forever! Nice! Combat drone, walk out! Right. Oh, but it is, Miranda. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No, I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? 
Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back. I know, right? No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. Maybe she's using biotics to help support the, the shotgun so that it doesn't break her arm. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket. You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money. Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? <laughs> well, actually, she's very well dressed now. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. All right, Bruno. Oh, have a great night, buddy. You hit her. That I don't know where she is. Thanks for coming by. I want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! We've been spotted. You think we've been spotted? Mind over matter! You're toast! All the clips units, engage at will! Deploying Warfield! Hey, that's Foster Pika! Watch for fire! How'd this bitch get over here? I gotta revive poor Tally. Now I can revive poor Tally. How's that working out for you? Can't 
target them. Damn it. Here we go. There we go. Ooh. More eclipse mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think we did, but med kit. Oh, we need one of those. All right, I think we're good now. All right, that's the one that we wanted there for the lady up front by the entrance. I can't believe Nikit sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. And we're done! Woohoo! Loyalty! Don't you make uh, 25,000? Yep. And we have enough. We should have enough. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Yeah, we don't want to lose loyalty with either one of them, so we'll go with this option instead. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. 
I can put aside my differences until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job. Miranda, fine. she would have kicked your That's ass. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a, it is a good thing that I came along when I did, because otherwise you would have been airlocked. Because when it comes to biotics, Jack is much more powerful than Miranda is. All right, um, let's see here. Let's go to the cabin. We did get a new fish, which Kelly should be feeding. Hey, yes, look, we have one breed of fish in our tank, but it's okay. She feeds it now, so we don't have to spend the money to get the, uh, to get the VI to feed our fish. All right, I think that uh, we're just going to uh, enjoy the look of the fish tank and end it here. And we'll be back in a few days with some more Mass Effect 2. I'm loving playing through this. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Whether you watch them live well, in whole or in part. If you're watching the VODs or whatever. Because I know that there are some of you out there that are just watching the replay of it. So that's why I leave it up on the, on the channel. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I'm having a blast. And uh, yeah, we'll do this again very soon. Until next time, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the best day in my life. See ya.